I'm so happy you're feeling better and can come home today. I'm really nervous, Ken. I mean, what happens if I lose control again? After all, you did find me walking around in the snow with no shoes on, having a conversation with myself about losing our wedding rings. I wasn't making much sense then. We've had many meetings with the hospital staff, and we've got a treatment plan to help support you as you transition to living back home. I miss you when you are in the hospital. I know. We'll figure this out, right? Of course. I'm your husband. I'll always be here for you. Between you and me and the support from the treatment team, we can do this. Schizophrenia is a real mental illness that impacts the way a person thinks, feels and behaves. Symptoms can include hallucinations, delusions, issues with memory or attention, or disorganized behavior or speech. Currently, there is no cure for schizophrenia, but symptoms can be treated and managed through medications and other supportive treatments. Still, people receiving treatment for schizophrenia may at times experience severe symptoms that require inpatient psychiatric services. It's important to discuss with your doctor so you can fully understand your diagnosis some goals of inpatient services may include first stabilizing a person's symptoms, then empowering and educating the person and their support network so they can be discharged safely and get back to their usual daily activities. Discharge planning is important. Transitioning from inpatient to outpatient care may feel scary or overwhelming, but individuals can partner with their treatment team to transition from inpatient to outpatient treatment. During the inpatient treatment, the process of discharge planning may begin at various stages of your hospital stay. At some hospitals, the discharge planning process begins as individuals receive care to stabilize symptoms. The treatment team may provide the individual with information on medication, living skills and disease management to prepare the individual to manage their illness after discharge. As a man or woman living with schizophrenia, it is important to continue treatment as directed by your healthcare provider after hospital discharge. An effective discharge plan should be created collaboratively by an individual and their treatment team and may include appointments for follow-up calls, follow-up appointments, home visits and a plan to seek support from family and friends. Working with a case manager during discharge planning can also be beneficial. Case managers are skilled clinical professionals who can help coordinate appointments, connect individuals to a wide variety of services, and most important, follow up to track treatment progress. My case manager clearly outlined the next steps in my discharge plan. I am stable now, but if I get confused, I can look at the plan to remind myself what to do. That plan also helps Ken to be on the same page with my care. Elia's discharge plan has a great deal of information. This includes the names and contact information of her medical doctor, psychiatrist, counselor, and case manager. To help ease the transition between inpatient and outpatient treatment, Elia was enrolled in the partial hospitalization program. She attends this program at the hospital during the day, then returns home for the night. Ten days after leaving the partial hospitalization program, she has her next follow-up appointments clearly set up on her discharge plan. Aliyah will be seeing her therapist two times a week for the next month and will also be attending a weekly support group. Family and friends can also be included in the discharge plan as they may be able to provide emotional support and assist with activities of daily living during outpatient treatment. We've had lots of meetings over the last week with the hospital staff. They really helped me understand how to help you better and what to do if you start showing signs of relapse. I now know how to do my part to support you in your recovery journey. Right, my plan is pretty straightforward. I take my medication at the same time each day, I see my doctor once a month, and my therapist weekly. I also keep on a schedule of going to my support group, practicing yoga twice a week, and attending my church group with all my friends. I'm still uncertain of how things will go at home, but I know I have a whole team in place ready and willing to help me outside the hospital. It is good to know that my first scheduled follow-up appointment is only a couple days away. 
Aaliyah, remember the goal is to live and manage your condition as you pursue your treatment goals. We've got to keep a positive attitude and make sure we both have a well-rounded, fulfilling lifestyle. We'll stick to the treatment plan and keep moving forward. That's a great plan. It gives us the best chance of keeping you out of the hospital. And remember, I'm on your team. I'm ready. I'm home and I want to stay home. We can do this.